it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video and today we are here on Westbridge Hills doing some testing and I'm going to show you guys my latest build um, in this video. So here we have it. It is the Meridian 990 Max fuel trailer. Uh, it has a 990 gallon capacity or 3,748 liters. Uh, this Everything besides the wheels here was built by me in Blender. Uh, started from cubes and stuff. Uh, we got axles under here. We got the frame. We got diamond plating here up on front. Diamond plating here. Uh, I might be adding cube maps to this thing. I don't know. I'll mess around with them some here. But uh, this is, you know... This is finished, really. Uh, the only thing, uh, these, the Max Edition, the Meridian, the Reflective, all that stuff, those are just ad strips. So, um, the ad strips normally have two materials, and in order to add dirt to something, you can only have one material. And Random Sparks actually made the 990 Meridian decal and the Max Edition decal for me. Uh, so, he's actually going to send me a version of the ad strip where it only has one material so I can add dirt to it. Otherwise, everything else has dirt added, uh, just besides these ad strips. Uh, I have no texture flickers either anymore. Uh, so, yeah, so here we have the fenders. Uh, they are a black diamond plate. Up here we got the diamond plating on front. We got the body, we got the frame. Uh, here we got the hitch, and then over here we got the jack that I made, <clears throat> um, and I actually just finished scripting this thing to actually work, or, you know, fixing it, I guess. Uh, I used the Thunder Creek trailer that Joe Lindbergh or Lynn JB Modding released uh, for the base, because it works with Damage Mod, so I could use its scripts for that, and uh, otherwise I did a lot of the stuff myself you know just not the scripting um so if we go into the store as you can see right here uh i made my own store category by using the same script that winston 9587 uses so i have uh updated my stack movers and my fontaine drop deck tender to um be in this category and then here we have the trailer uh, I haven't updated the store picture yet I'm getting to that uh, I will also be adding more mods into this category like my truck edits um, gee I went through a lot of my stuff <laughs> um, my Peterbilt truck edits right here you know black and white and lime and black and all that stuff those I'll be putting in here along with most of my other edits uh, so here we have, um, it's a 2016 Meridian 990 Max fuel trailer. It costs $20,000, which is quite accurate. Um, well, based on uh, Tractor Supply's website, or er, not Tractor Supply, Tractor House's website, anyways. Um, maintenance is $834 a day. Capacity is 500 5,680, which is not correct. Uh, it is 3,400, 3,748. Um, I don't know why it still says that here. I can't get it to change. Uh, fruit types, gas, obviously. Uh, the 834, I basically took 20,000 and divided it by 24. So, you know, 24 hours in a day and got the 834. The rent price is $66 an hour. So if we go ahead, uh, I'll show you guys the jack. If we hook it up, it'll raise up, unhook, it'll come down. And if we go ahead and we hop in the truck here, bring up the HUD, you can see I did take out a little bit of fuel to, um, you know, I had tried recording this video before, and I was going to show you guys me working on it, but evidently my recording software decided to quit on me, so I didn't end up recording it. So we can top it off, 3748. 
Uh, you can see we got brake lights, running lights, uh, we got blinkers, hazards, all that. And then we got the reflective stuff. Uh, it does work with damage mod. I don't have damage mod in my mods folder, and I'm obviously not on a damage mod map. But we can uh, change that here in a moment. And so we'll just pull up the site here. You can see we have the uh, refill icon there. Uh, here, this truck doesn't need any fuel, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to hop over to the American Outback map, and I'm going to total a vehicle, and then we'll bring this guy over, and I will see you guys there where I can show you. Okay, and we are back, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a save game on American Outback, because I know that it has the damage mod, and the reason that I used the damage, the Fuel, the Thunder Creek of Joe Lindbergh's for, you know, with it having damage mod is because once my map is completed, I plan to have the damage mod on there. So this will be nice for that. Um, the reason that I made this is because I was getting kind of sick of the Thunder Creek trailer. I've been using that thing since Farmer Boy 69 released it way back in 13 and just kind of getting tired of it, wanted something different. Uh, when I came up with the idea that I wanted something different, I went and was looking at uh, gooseneck trailers. But the only gooseneck trailers I could find on Tractor House, at least, was all, um, they were all Thunder Creek trailers. And I did not want Thunder Creek trailers. So, I just, uh decided to go with a bumper pull and decided that it'd work I guess <laughs> and uh, yeah so let's put that up there okay so let's go hit some stuff and see how much damage we can get there's 16% just from that little rock. We don't need soil mod. So there we go. There's 30%. 37. I want to get it around like 50% at the minimum. I don't know if the train actually has collision on it or not, so we can try and hit the train. Let's see which way the train's going to come from. I think it's coming down there. So let's go ahead and we'll drive down the track and just see if we can find it. We'll see what we can see. Just kind of keep checking behind and making sure that it's not going on the other track. I'm not seeing it yet. Hmm. Must be coming behind us. That are just not yet on the track. So yeah, I don't think that I'm going to release this trailer. I don't think that I'm going to do any more releases. Um, the stack mover was kind of a test. And it proved my thoughts. So uh, I just said, screw it. I'm not going to do it. And yeah, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to hate that. But I don't really care because it's not your decision. It is mine, and that's all I'm going to say because I know a lot of people get completely crabby about that, and sorry, but I don't care. <laughs> um, you know, it's, I don't want people ruining it. You know, Stack Mover hasn't been ruined and re-released like that, 
but I have seen it uploaded. You know, I uploaded to Mod Hoster, American Eagles Modding, and my mod site. And it is now on like 50 million different sites. And, you know, it's just, it, you know, a lot of them do have the original credits that I put, which is nice. Oh, there's the train. But still, you know, just nobody has respect and I don't uh, want to deal with their crap. So I'm not going to release. That's all I can say. Oh, oh, it's damaged. It's totaled. Oh my god, I can't even fix it. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see if we can reset it. Okay, we can. Can we enter it? No, we cannot. Okay, so... <laughs> wow, that is crazy. So we'll buy my trailer, and then we'll buy a pickup. Uh, I want this guy. Alright, so let's hook this up. Holy crap, the truck already has 8% damage? That's crazy. Probably from when I was just stopping in the parking lot there, in the dealership lot. They kind of probably screwed that up. This is one fast truck though, holy smoke. Yeah, it's because this thing's going so fast and I'm tapping the brakes and damage mod does not like that. I suppose my trailer's probably flinging around and so that's damaging it. Hmm. <laughs> so if the trailer gets damaged, then it's got to go back to the farm because I can't fix... I don't think I can fix that. Let's check. So let's go... I suppose we probably gotta unhook it. Hmm. Not sure how that works, actually. Okay, let's just drive over to the tractor here. Oh, there we go. R repair there we go okay so that's that's how that works there we go repair perfect awesome so yeah there is the trailer and uh oh yeah, so I'll be using this a lot now. Uh, I actually am planning on making... Well, I'm working on a Chevy C30, which that you guys will see in Thursday's video. I'll work on that in Thursday's video. And uh, um, then once that's done, I'm going to work on a big old iron pack. So basically older tractors and equipment. Uh, going to do Alice Chalmers. Uh, John Deere, Case, IH, whoa, that gave a lot of damage, um, IH, and then Gleaner, so I'll have, you know, like, old equipment in those brands, and I've already gone through and found some equipment, um, in Alice Chalmers, and, um, in Alice Chalmers, in John Deere, and then a couple things in Case, uh, but not a whole lot. Ooh. Trailer got 70 there. So, yeah. Um, that's gonna do it for this video. And make sure to... Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth checking out. 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and other videos, and to be notified of when I, uh, and to see for, uh, future videos, and make sure to turn on post notifications to be notified every single time I upload new content for you guys, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Thursday, and we will be doing some work on my Chevy C30. See you guys.